with this latest lockdown for schools in England, what is the impact on teachers, parents and children? There's great concern about the effects of such long periods away from the classroom for all but vulnerable children and those of key workers. Our education editor, Brandon Jeffries, reports. Schools in England are busier this lockdown. The fears about children missing out have grown. But millions, like 10-year-old Katerina, are learning at home. She says her teachers help a lot, but day after day without friends is hard. At school, they're always there, and you can always laugh and cheer with them. Um, you can call them and play with them online and stuff, but it's never going to be the same as in real life. Head teachers should get two weeks' warning of full reopening, but say they need to know more to get ready. We need to know, are we testing? And if we are testing, who are we testing? Which test? We need to know how many children are coming back to school. Is it all children or is it certain year groups like exam groups? Is it going to be full time? Is it going to be part time? Is it going to be on a rotation? All of these things are absolutely crucial for running a school. Today, not much more detail from the education secretary. What to do is we want to see all children back into school at the very earliest moment. So for schools and for parents trying to get work done at home while keeping an eye on their kids' schooling, there's still huge uncertainty. The government says schools are its priority, but infection rates remain high. Any decision about the full reopening of schools is likely to be part of a wider set of considerations about when and how to ease lockdown.